Hello everybody in Rusty Matt's land. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to our year nine series on algebra. So we've been getting through this rather quickly. Today we are on this last line here, forming and solving equations. This is a massive topic, even right up to GCSE. Students really do get themselves into a, quite a model with forming and solving because sometimes they don't even see it coming. In today's lesson, I'm gonna focus on a couple of very simple and easy questions where forming and solving becomes really, really useful. Um, and then we're gonna see where we go from there. But for now, without further ado, let's jump into forming and solving equations. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you will know as soon as a new video has landed. Okay, so I've pre-populated my page here with a couple of diagrams. I do love my diagrams because I'm a very visual learner and I like seeing things step by step to know how they work. And we're gonna, in order to find X, we're gonna form an equation. That's why this is called forming and solving. You have to make an equation up, make up one based on the information you've got. And then when you've made that equation, you need to solve that equation. Okay, so let's jump into it and see what happens here. Now, first things first, we have got a triangle and the angles are given as expressions. So you can see I've got an expression 3x minus 10 is this angle here. This angle is 10x and that angle here is 6x. So the fact that I've just mentioned angles, the first thing in my mind is that what do all the angles in a triangle add up to? Now we've been doing this since primary school, so we know that it all adds up to 180 degrees. So I need to find X and then work out each angle. So let's go find X, let's see what's gonna happen first. This is where the forming part comes. Now I need to form an equation, I need to make an equation in order to find X. So I know that all the angles add up to 180. So that angle, add this angle, add that angle equals 180. So I'm gonna write it down just like that. So I'm going to have the 3X take away 10, add 10X, add 6x is equal to 180 degrees. So I'm just following the rules I know. And just like that, I've formed an equation. Now let's simplify this equation and solve it. Now I can only add up the x's together and then the numbers separately. So let's go and add up all the x's together first. Um, so that's going to be that I have got 3x plus 10x is 13x and then that other 6x there is going to be 19x. We have that take away 10, and that's equal to 180 degrees. So the next step is that now we need to sub, um, add this 10 because we're going to use the balancing method. Check out my other videos that, that are just up here on how we solve using the balancing method to solve an equation. All right, so I'm gonna add 10 here. So I'm going to add 10 on this side, add 10 on that side. These two 10s are going to cancel out. So 19x is equal to 190. And then using my balancing method again, I'm going to divide by 19, divide by 19. This is the inverse operation that we're using here. These 19s are going to cancel out therefore giving me that x is equal to 10 because 190 divided by 19 is 10. Now I found x, so I've only answered one part of my question. Now I need to work out each angle. Now since I know that x is 10, then that means this is 3 times 10, which is 30, take away 10, which is 20. So it means that this angle here is 20 degrees. Since I know x is 10, this angle is 10 times 10. So 10 times 10, that's going to be 100. And last of all, this one down here is going to be 6 times 10. And 6 times 10 is 60. And this question is now finished. And if you do a mental check, 100 
plus 60 plus 20 is 180. So I know my answer is correct. Okay. All right. Now I've covered quite a lot of things in just solving this question and I didn't guide you through some of it. Okay. So just to recap, in order to solve this question, I formed an equation, but then I had to know that I can only add the X's up. I couldn't take away that 10 from these numbers. I couldn't combine that. So I can only combine the things with X's and that came from my video on collecting like terms. And then once I've done that, I have then used now the balancing method to find out what X is in solving this equation. And we covered that in the first video in this section here where we solved equations. So we have to use the balancing method. Now, how do I know I need to add 10? I use the inverse operation. So the opposite of taking away is add. So I added here and I added 10 there. That cancelled out that 10 and then everything else is pretty straightforward after that. Okay. If there's anything you think I've missed or anything I could have done a little bit better, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Comments are always welcome. Let's do this last question here because this video, I want to keep it as short as possible. So in this question, same sort of thing, find X first and then find the area of this rectangle. Now, what information have given me? Well, they've given me the length, they've given me the width, and they've told me that the perimeter is 186. That's really useful information because we know that perimeter means add all of the sides and because this is a rectangle it means that this side is also x add 3 and this side is also x add 10 all right so i need to add them all up and make an equation equal to 186 let's jump straight into that and get it going so i'm going to do a different color just to make sure that it doesn't get mixed up with stuff i've done up here so now i've got that x add 10 plus the x add 3 plus the x add 10 down the bottom plus the x add 3 and that equals to 186. Now I could have made this a bit shorter by just adding them to and doubling and times in it by two and so on but I'm catering for my learners that really really need to see all the steps okay so add 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 that and then add the one over there so that's all I've got there. Now the next step, I need to combine everything now. Let's combine my X's first. How many X's have we got? One, two, three, four X's. So I know that that's four X. And then let's do the numbers now. 10, add three, that's 13. Add another 10, that's 23. And add another three, that's 26. So that's gonna add 26, and that equals to 186 there. Now look at that, equation. These keep coming up a lot in this section, isn't it? Now, inverse operation says I need to take away 26 and take away 26 there. And then once I do that, these will cancel out, leaving me with 4x is equal to 160. As you take away 26 from 186. And then now I'm going to finish this off by dividing by 4 to find x these will cancel out here and so x is going to be equal to 40. all right now i've got x is 40 i now got to work out the area because i've got x i know it's 40 now i need to work out the area now in order to work out the area it's a rectangle okay so to find the area of a rectangle i need to do area equals length times width now I know that the length here is x add 10, but x is 40. So this is 40 add 10. So the length is 50 up here. And then down the bottom here, the width is x add 10. x add 3, sorry, I beg your pardon, x add 3. So 40 add 3, that's going to be 43. So therefore, the area is equal to... 50 times 43, which is 2,150 centimeter square. And just like that, we have formed and solved an equation. And that brings us to the end of this video, guys. So if you thought that this was pretty cool, pretty clever, give this video a like. 
don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell so you do not miss any uploads that are coming. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. And until I see you on the next one, peace.